Okay, uh, Kate Clayson, Indianapolis. Um, first of all, the positive, I can't believe this is your first main event since San Diego. Like, that is Mind bad. <laughs> um, so nice to be back where you belong. Yeah, uh, just a string of bad luck um, the last couple of weeks and two weeks before that, just kind of piss poor decisions uh, in the LCQs. And um, so yeah, it, it's just magically strung together, missing six main events in a row. So. Uh, that just ain't it for me. Uh, it's not really acceptable, and uh, the boys know it, and I know it, and I've been kind of down on myself, but just kept the head down, and I rode pretty good in practice today, put in a couple heaters, and it was nice, because I think I had like three laps that would have put me in the top 18, so it's not like I just had one. Uh, so yeah, um, we just got to keep grinding and uh, trying to get better. You know, Seattle next weekend, it's basically going to be the same thing as this. You know, real soft, real real ruddy, lots of braking bumps, uh, tough to ride, so we got a good warm-up. Uh, tell me about the incident with Coop. Uh, what happened from your perspective? Was anything said afterwards? Uh, run me through it. Uh, no, I mean, I, I wouldn't have been upset if he came and said something to me, but I feel like he may understand that there's absolutely nothing I could have done. Like, okay, so what happened was I, we let Chiz and I were battling for 14th, which is a big deal for me. Um, and Chiz passed me right after first and second passed me. Um, and under like a heavy blue flag when we knew the leaders were coming. So I got kind of irritated and I was trying to pass him back and not really paying attention to who was behind me. And uh, I got up alongside of him in the rhythm section to pass him back. Uh, we stepped off the tabletop and I just kind of cross rutted when I landed and I cased the double in the rhythm. And uh, when I cased it, I tried to look back because obviously I knew people were behind me. Yeah. So I looked back. Um, and right as I like turned my head, Coop's already like on me. Like he was gonna land on me either way. So um, I mean, I appreciate the fact that he didn't aim straight for my back, but you know it sucks, man. I feel terrible. I hate affecting races like that, and um, that stuff. Ha I mean, it does happen. Um, it sucks that I have to be a part of it, or Coop has to be a part. Of, like you know, I had to. I literally already had to shut my phone off because the DMs have just been unbelievable. But um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I could have done, right? I, I mean, I feel bad, but uh, that's that stuff happens. And, you know, I'm sorry it happened to him. Is it easy for you to just forget about that and move on with your night? Or does it kind of like, are you extra cautious around the blue flags after that yeah, moment? Yeah, I already got yelled at. Um, I was, so the next, so my arm is like twice the size right now that it should be just from like his bar coming yeah. down on my arm. And uh, so the last, the last bit of that man was terrible. And then the next man, the first few laps were okay. And then I started kind of riding tight. And then once the blue flags came out, it was like I was having deja vu the whole time. And I started going like six seconds a lap slower. And uh, that just can't, I, I think I let three people by once I got a blue flag. Like I was riding around 15th again and I went all the way to 17th or 18th. So. Yeah, it, it's tough, right? Because I don't want to affect the race, and I have to get that out of my head all the time. Um, it's been a problem basically my whole career, and I've done a good job of kind of growing out of it. But, uh, you know, once something like that happens, it obviously creeps back in.